Yes, GC here, and we are back for a movie review. That muscle's just for show. Helps me lift stuff. Bra in cell block 99. So this is a 2017 American action thriller film written, directed, and scored by S. Craig Zeller, the guy that brought you Bone Tomahawk. It stars Vin Vince Vaughn, Jennifer Carpenter, Don Johnson, and everyone else check down below. So what's this film about? Well, basically it's about a former boxer and drug mule, Bradley Thomas. Uh, he's laid off and he does some drug, goes back to be a drug mule and he's caught and uh, he's just thrown into jail and then because he's caught, the boss is like, you owe me money. If you don't do what I say, I'm gonna kill your wife. You gotta find this dude in cell block 99 or something. And he does it. And that's basically the entire film. What did I think? Well, holy crap, the blood and gore. <sighs> Ooh, I don't know. It's like the effect of them using real fake things just makes it even worse. Like that one sequence where he, he like curb stomp the guy into the ground and then moves his head back and his face sort of just peels. Ugh, it's gross. So Vince Vaughn playing a very, very serious person is different and I definitely feel like he's sort of pushing his boundaries of what he can do. So props for him. I mean he did that in True Detective Season 2. I didn't watch too much. I think I watched one episode of that and I didn't bother with it. So I don't know what happened to his performance. But over here, it's like, it's it's pretty hilarious. Like he is so overpowered where he doesn't get injured that much and anyone that he fights, he just sort of destroys. Which is a very interesting narrative. And the whole twist at the end was also very, oh, okay, interesting. But he also just owns everyone. And in the end, he just sort of accepts his fate and I'm just like, oh, okay. So, it's, it's weird. It's a, it's a hyper-violent film, and I think when they don't use fake prosthetics, or they use, like, I don't think they use real, fake prosthetics, but when, like, it's not super, like, oh, my face, when it blows up, it's clearly not a human head, but, like, plastic bits come off, and blah. Like, there's one sequence where he breaks a guy's arm, and that was so cringe. I actually felt like my stomach felt it too maybe it was just my lunch or dinner but but it was weird for me when i saw that arm breaking action but overall it's a very straightforward piece of narrative in terms of he just tries to get his 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 wife back and he has to fulfill his goal and 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 it's a happy ending in a sense life goes on i don't know i am still Intrigued and just can't wait to see what S. Craig Zeller is going to come up with. I do wish he writes another book. I definitely would want to read that. His books have all been really amazing. So, yeah, I mean, Vince Vaughn being serious. Jennifer Carpenter is hardly in this, really, so it doesn't really matter. She sort of plays Morgan from Dexter again, just sort of like hysterical at times and stuff. Yeah, so I mean, fight sequences is just like, it's just so like. Boom! Like slower than what you're used to, so it, it's different. So I mean, like recently we got a lot of fast choreo, but this guy he's just like a honking type of guy, and he's just like boom, and he takes people out because everyone underestimates him. But yet, ooh, some of the brutal brutal kills. Now that I think about it, like heavy jail door smash your head, and he doesn't die. Ugh. Ugh. It's a code in here. Anyways. Yeah, I mean, Cell Block 99 Brawl is a pretty intense fight. I mean, people did ask, like, if it's, is it, like, Easter Promise style? And I definitely don't think it is. And it's not as brutal as Bone Tomahawk. Like, when that, de like, half split the decapitation. It's, I don't, it's not a decapitation, but it's, like, the half split that happens in Bone Tomahawk was just, oh, so cringe and so uncomfortable because it didn't set you up for that sort of violence but here it's like repeatedly the violence is kind of over the top hyper violent style but yet Vince Vaughn just gets the upper hand all the time so it's just like you never feel like he's in any kind of danger so I feel like maybe that could have been changed where he sort of feels vulnerable but at the same time I feel like it's a very interesting premise and narrative in terms of how they wrote his character where he's just overpowered and he just takes everyone like no one I don't think anyone took him down. 
except for himself like where he just like gave up and like okay you got me type of thing and that's that so i mean props on that i mean s Krog, sailor seriously i look forward to your next work vince vaughn good job for signing up for this for this role and doing a good job for it like silent but like he has lines and it carries and he's just really trying i think the 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 premise really helped save his character in terms of his lack of characterization so there's that and he's just like sort of like yeah he's just doing the right thing he's trying to save his wife so you just sort of like justify all the violent stuff that he does and just, you're you're just like okay okay keep going okay anyway that's it um this has been the movie review of uh brawl and cell 99 out <laughs>